Hi, and welcome to the Algebra Word Problems Tutor. And uh, in this class, I'm, I'm very excited about teaching this class because up until now in my other courses and in your schoolwork, you've learned how to do algebra. You've learned the, the mechanics of how to do algebra. You've learned how to, how to solve an equation, how to add negative numbers and positive numbers and things like that. And uh, given a problem, you, you have the tools in your toolbox to, to try to be able to solve that kind of problem. But everybody knows that in the real world and also in your test, you're going to be given a certain kind of problem uh, called the word problem. And that makes uh, people sometimes have a hard time. And the reason is because you, you, you know, your problem is not given to you in a nice one-line fashion. It doesn't, just say, it doesn't just say solve this equation or manipulate this expression. The word problem has, has a challenge to it because it's a bunch of words and there's numbers in there and Sally and James and different people's names and so on. And, and your challenge really with those kinds of problems is you have to, to take the information out of the problem and put it on your board or on your paper. Okay, and then cranking through the math usually isn't isn't that hard. Cranking through the math usually isn't that difficult. The actual solving of the problem, the real challenge with the word problem, is actually taking the information out of the problem and constructing you know your equations or whatever it is you're trying to do on your paper. That's the real challenge. And to be honest with you, that's real life. That's you know real life is not giving you a bunch of one-liner homework problems. Real life is go figure out how to make this airplane fly or go figure out how to this engine is running too hot go figure out why it's running too hot and fix it okay so what we're going to do in this course is uh, this course is going to be 100 percent word problems that's all it is the actual math behind it the actual solving the equations isn't going to be that hard and i did that on purpose the challenge is taking the word problems and taking that information out and putting it into problem form so you can solve it that's what we're going to uh, uh, do today so the first section is uh, uh, algebra word problems involving numbers. Okay, um, you know, uh, uh, basically these problems are going to have one number relating to another number. Sometimes it's age, sometimes it's distance, things like that. And I think uh, word problems, just like anything else in life, the easiest way to learn how to do them is just to to see some examples. So let's go and and find those examples. The um, the first problem that we're going to do and talk about is on your board here and it and it says on your screen right here and it says uh, four times a number increased by two is equal to 30 okay what is the number okay the number one thing you need to do when you're solving word problems any kind of problem that has a sentence involved in it is called a word problem okay is you have to understand what it's actually asking you okay number one thing people do is you see a word problem and people start trying to write down answers and numbers and equations without actually understanding what the problem is saying and what it's asking you you have to do that okay so don't try to skip ahead read this problem two or three times until you understand what it's actually asking you to do then start writing down your equations and your numbers and so on so let's read it one more time four times a number increased by two okay is equal to 30 what is that number okay so we have a number that's what we're trying to find and uh, we multiply it times four okay and then we take that thing and then we add uh, two to it and then the resulting answer should be equal to 30 and what we're trying to do is trying to find that number okay so what we're gonna do uh, because you know we have an unknown here we have a number okay we're gonna say that the variable X is equal to the number okay the reason I'm doing this is because I really don't know what the number is okay that's the whole point I don't know what the number is so I'm gonna assign a variable to it and remember way back to beginning algebra that's what you're doing here you don't know what it is so it's a variable it's the unknown so you assign it to be X okay so what you want to do is you want to translate this problem into an equation or something you can solve so four times a number increased by two okay well if my number is what I'm trying to solve for then four times the number must be four X four times a number okay increased by two means I'm gonna add two to it is got to be equal to 30 okay congratulations you've just translated your first word problem into an equation four times the number increased by two is equal to 30 and now all we have to do is solve for our unknown so to do that 
going back to your basic algebra, we'll subtract 2 from both sides. So this 2 will go away. 2 minus 2 is 0. And on the right-hand side, we'll have 30 uh, minus 2. Okay? So all I've done is subtract 2 from the left, gets rid of that 2, and 2 from the right. And I actually haven't done any math yet. So 4x is equal to 28. Okay? And then to solve for x, you divide both sides by 4. So x is going to be equal to 28 divided by 4. So on the left, 4x divided by 4 gives you 1. So that's why you have the, the 1.